We got breakout players then of the World Cup. Myself and Don, we're impressed with Englishman Jude Bellingham. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, Ali's gone for McAllister, of course, a superb for Argentina. Uh, Ian has gone for Arabat, superb run, of course, he had throughout the World Cup. Should we start, though, with Stevie? Mm, sure. Should we start with you, Stephen? Enzo? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I hadn't heard of him, quite frankly, right. before the World Cup. Yep. Uh, and I hadn't heard of Amrabat. The rest, yeah, I knew them. I knew them pretty well. So if it's breakout, then it had to be one of those two. And quite frankly, when you're part of a team that wins the World Cup and you're one of the first names on the team sheet, then you have to be pretty good. And he's sh he's shown that at any level, any stage, no matter how big or how small the game is, he's there. He's going to stand up and be counted. And for me, you know, it's about keeping the ball. No question. And this guy keeps the ball for fun. And when you've got a guy on your team like Lionel Messi, if you can surround them with players who can get him the ball, then they're, 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 they're important. Not quite as important as Messi, mm. but, but they're big time. And that's what this guy did, the whole tournament. He stopped, he stopped the opposition getting through defensively, but when it came to going forward, you talk about winning the ball and then getting it to the man that needs it. Enzo did that for fun every game. Ali, you went for a different Argentinian. I like this McAllister, and from some of the similar reasons that Steve was mentioning about Enzo Fernandez and Alexis McAllister, what Argentina found is a, a level of success that I don't think they were expecting from him on the field. Initially, the player that was going to play that position was going to be Giovanni Lo Celso. However, he gets injured ahead of the World Cup, and so now McAllister is put in a position in which he has to perform at this sort of level. And while he had been good for Brighton, we didn't expect this from him and the confidence with which he played in the World Cup and his willingness to not, to, not only to hang on to the ball, but get out of tight areas with his dribbling ability, also willing to do the work defensively. He did a lot of things for Argentina that allowed then Lionel Messi to be able to do the things that he did in the attacking half. Much like Enzo Fernandez, he was critical to their success. Uh, as was Amrabat, Ian. Yeah, what a terrific player he was. I don't think anybody was talking about him when the tournament started. Sofian Amrabat, I mean, he looked in the 90th minute of games as fresh as he did in the first minute. He broke up the play. He was really instrumental to Morocco's great run to the semi-finals. And I've said it before on this programme, I think Liverpool, who need that kind of energy and that kind of player, could have gone out and maybe made a big bid to get him in January from Fiorentina. Yes, indeed, but they did not. Uh, we'll save the best till last, shall we, Don? Jude Bellingham? Yeah, why not? Yeah, Jude <laughs> Bellingham, absolute superstar. The closest thing I think, Dan, potential is when I watch and when I've played against Steven Gerrard over the years, I think this kid's got the lot and he proved it for Dortmund in the Champions League. He's been proving it in the Bundesliga. Now he's done it on a world stage. And I just think the guy or the kid is going to go from strength to strength. And there's so much to his game. You know, he's an old school number eight, can do absolutely everything. He's got the physical capabilities to go box to box. He can handle a ball, he can score goals, he can tackle. Unbelievable World Cup he had. Uh, incredible. When you look at that, you forget he's only 19, Steve. Yeah, I think the thing that I like most and sticks out for me about Bellingham, for such a young guy, the composure he has in the penalty box when it, when it matters most is incredible for, for somebody who's still a teenager. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.